Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you with a fun Disney mystery pin opening. It's not really an unboxing, it's more like an unbagging. I have two of the newest Disney collectible pin packs to show you. They were both released in the last month or two. So I have one bag of this Fantasyland football kind of mascot pin pack thing to show you. The pins don't actually have anything to do with football, really only the packaging does. And it's kind of weird that they were released after football season ended, but whatever, I've got one of these. But what I'm really excited about is I have two of the Disney handbag packs and these feature handbags that are kind of themed after all of the different Disney princesses. These have been really popular online. They're only available in Disneyland right now. Disney World doesn't seem to have gotten these into the parks yet so I kind of had to do some wheeling and dealing to get these. Thank you Laura for, for picking these up for me. But yay I've got three bags of pins. That'll be 15 pins in total and I'm going to open them up for you right now. I'm going to start with one of the Disney handbags set. I'm going to start with this one, and then I'm going to do the football one, and then I'm going to end with the handbags, because I think I'm going to like the handbags a little bit better, so I want to kind of start and end on hopefully a high note. Here is a look at the front of the pin pack. It features a handbag that is themed on my favorite princess, Snow White, just so you know what to look for if you're trying to hunt these down in the Disney parks. And here on the back, you can see all of the different handbag options. I really like the top two, the Mary Poppins and Minnie. I, of course, really want Snow White. That would be my number one pick if I could pick. And I love Princess Anna, so I think it'd be fun to get the Princess Anna handbag as well. But they all look pretty cool. I'm excited to get this open. Okay, so here we go with the handy dandy scissors to snip this open. And I'm just kind of feeling inside and they don't have little separate baggies. They're just kind of all thrown in there. So I'm gonna kind of close my eyes and pick out the first one and Oh, it's the Rapunzel pin. Okay, wow. This is pretty and a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. Here is a look at the Rapunzel handbag pin. This is a great first pull. It seems like it's got kind of a, like not glittery, but a metallic element to it. I love that her hair is the handle for the bag and it's got all the flowers. This is very springy. I've been in a very springy mood lately, so this will look really nice on a future pin board of mine. I personally love Rapunzel. I'm not a Rapunzel collector, but I love that pin, so I think we're off to a great start. Let me see what the next one is. Is. Oh, and I got Aurora. Okay, I like Aurora. This is actually also really pretty and springy. There's a look at the beautiful Aurora handbag. It's got the rose in the center for Briar Rose. Really, really pretty. This would be beautiful on like a Valentine's Day theme. Time for pin number three from this pack. Let's see who we get. Oh, I got Anna! Okay, this is one of the ones I wanted. Whoop. It's the Anna from Frozen handbag. Anna's one of my favorites. I have a tiny little side collection of Anna pins, so I will be keeping this one for sure. And here is the Anna pin. This one also has a really beautiful springy vibe to it. I'm just feeling the spring princess pins today. Two more in this pack. I'm very happy with what I've gotten so far. Let's keep it going. Oh, I think this one must be Elsa. I think this one's Elsa. I'm not that excited about Elsa. Not that I don't like Elsa in Frozen. I actually do, but I'm not as into this pin. Okay, here's the Elsa pin. I don't prefer this one quite as much because I think I just like more vibrant colors. It's nothing against Frozen or Let It Go or Elsa. I like all those things just fine, but just not my favorite pin of the bunch. And finally, the last pin in this first princess handbag set is, oh, it's Cinderella. This is actually pretty cute too. So Cinderella's is like a cute little clutch. I like this actually. My favorite color is blue, so that might be why I'm so attracted to this one. Um, I probably won't keep it. I'm not a Cindy collector, but it is actually a really pretty pin. I like I like the handbag that they came up with for, for Cinderella. I am pretty happy with that first bag. I've got one more of these, but kind of in between, I'm gonna open that fantasy football mascot bag. So here it is, it's called the Fantasyland Football Set. I was able to purchase this at a discount from one of my pin friends, Jenny. Jenny is actually a seller on my pin trading Facebook group. I'll link to that down below in case you're curious about trading your Disney mystery pins. But um, thanks Jenny for hooking me up with this and I'm gonna open this up right now. But before I do that, let me show you the options. These images on the back are a little bit hard to see but it looks to me that the top Eight are all Disneyland themed mascots. So you've got like the um, Yeti from the Matterhorn. You've got Jingles from the Carousel and the Hatbox Ghost, which is exclusive to the Disneyland Haunted Mansion. And then I believe down here we have the Disney World mascots. So there's Figment down here at the bottom. He's only at Disney World. I believe Buff is from Country Bear Jamboree and that's only at Disney World currently. So I'm pretty sure it's kind of like a cute little Disneyland versus Disney World thing, but there's a lot of cute ones. I think 
the ones I'd be most excited to get would be the Hatbox Ghost, because I love Haunted Mansion. I think it'd be cool to get Jingles the Horse. I'd love to get Figment, Rare Fox, because I'm a Splash Mountain collector. I love Orange Bird. I have a friend who I know would love this Buzz Lightyear, so lots of different options that I think I'd be happy with in this pack. And here we go, let's open it up. Oh, these feel bigger than I thought they would feel. Okay, here comes the first one. And it is Rafter Bear. It is Rafter Bear, and I believe Rafter Bear is a mascot for the Grizzly River Rapids, which is in Disney California Adventure Park out in Disneyland. So I've actually never ridden that, so this is definitely not one of the ones I was hoping for. But I will show you guys. There he is, Rafter Bear. He looks pretty fierce and like he's growling and, and paddling away. This one will most likely be a trader for me. I don't think I'm gonna try to collect this full set. I'm trying to limit the pins I collect a little bit because I counted my pins the other day and the number of pins that I have is, honestly, it's absurd. So probably going in my trader pile. Honestly, slightly disappointing start. So let's hope my luck improves and that I get a couple of the mascots that I want. Here comes number two. Oh, didn't really want this one either. This one is Ursula. Obviously Ursula from The Little Mermaid, but also Ariel's Undersea Adventure, which is in both Disneyland and Disney World. It's a really cool looking pin, and I actually really like Ursula. I think she's an amazing villain, but I am not a villains collector at all. So this will also be going into my trading pile. Come on, Fantasyland football. You're letting me down here. Let's see if we can get a good one. Who is it? Oh, okay, okay, I'm happy with this because I have a friend who is gonna love having this. This is the Buzz Lightyear pin. It's actually a great looking pin. I'm going to be gifting this to my friend Pam who collects everything space related. She loves Buzz Lightyear and she loves the Toy Story aliens and I'm sure she'll love to have this in her growing Disney space pin collection. Okay, so there's two more left. I'm hoping for at least one that I want to keep for myself and it is, oh yes, okay, oh good. This is the one that I wanted the most. This is actually the Hatbox Ghost. I love Haunted Mansion and I love Hatbox Ghost. I was able to ride Haunted Mansion a couple times two years ago when I visited Disneyland and it is a really, really cool animatronic and I'm really happy that I have this. And he is actually pretty freaky looking. I'll be saving this for a Halloween board and my very small Haunted Mansion collection. I mean, it's very, very small. Okay, last pin of this pack. What's it gonna be? Hope it's a good one. <gasps> yes, it's Jingles! It's Jingles the horse! I'm excited to have Jingles. So here is Jingles, the carousel horse. Apparently Jingles was Walt Disney's favorite carousel horse. I really like this pin. I love horses. I love carousel horses, so I am keeping this one as well. Okay, I think the Fantasyland pack kind of redeemed itself. So a couple traders, a gift for my friend Pam, and then two that I will be keeping. And finally, I have one more Disney handbag pack. I'm really hoping to get Snow White in this one. And I'm also just hoping for not too many duplicates from the previous one. So I'm gonna open this up and just hope for not too many doubles. If you watch my channel, I am definitely prone to getting a lot of doubles in these packs, so cross your fingers for me. Send me send me some good pixie dust vibes. Here comes number one. Oh, okay, not a double. Um, probably not one that I'm gonna keep, but this is the Maleficent handbag. This is actually a great looking pin. I probably won't keep it because I'm not a Maleficent or a villains collector. I'm also just not a big handbag person to be honest, but I do think this pin is awesome. And down here, kind of the flames at the bottom have kind of a metallic, almost glittery element to them. So really pretty flashy, eye-catching pin. Here comes the next one. No double. No doubles, no doubles, no doubles, and oh, don't have this one either. This is the Ursula pin, so we're on kind of a villain's theme right now. Here's a look at Ursula. What I like most about this is it has her octopus tentacle as the handle. That is a really cool design. Probably not gonna keep it, because like I said, not a villain's person, but definitely a neat pin and not a double. A three to go, still hoping for Snow White. I've got my Snow White ears on, and I've even got one of my Snow White tops on, so I'm trying to channel some Snow White vibes. Who is this? Ugh, it's a double. It is Cinderella again. I do like this pin, it's really cute, but this is definitely going into my trader pile, and you don't even need a close-up because you already saw it. Okay, we are getting down to the wire here, people. Who is it gonna be? Oh, not Snow White, but not a double. This one is the Princess Jasmine pin. Here's the Jasmine handbag. She's got her long ponytail as the handle. I kind of like how they utilize the hair as the handles. That's kind of fun. Um, very pretty pin, not a Jasmine collector, so this will be a trader or a gift. I think I'm gonna be out of luck on Snow White here today, you guys, so let's see. The final pin of the day is... Oh, 
not Snow White. It is Ariel. I know a lot of people love Ariel. I love Ariel. I love the Little Mermaid, but I also don't collect her. Let me show you a close-up of the pin. And there it is. This one has a really cool design. I love the seaweed handle and the little seahorses as the clasp. It's very pretty. I will be trading this hopefully to someone who loves Ariel even more than I do, and hopefully for that frickin' Snow White handbag pin. Okay, so that's the end of that. The bad news is no Snow White for me. The good news is out of 15 pins, I only got one double, and that's actually pretty stinking good luck for me, especially if you've watched my channel before and you've seen some of my other unboxings, I tend to get tons of doubles. I really do like both of these mystery pin packs. The pin quality is good. The colors are vibrant. I actually like the Fantasyland football one more than I thought I would, and the handbags are actually larger and more vibrant than I was expecting them to be, so I'm still pretty happy with these. I'm hopefully to do some trading and get me that Snow White one and maybe also the Orange Bird mascot. Those two are high on my wish list. But I hope you enjoyed watching this. Leave a comment down below and let me know what was your favorite pin from this pin haul. For me, it's a little bit of a tie between the Hatbox Ghost and the Rapunzel handbag. Hatbox Ghost because Hatbox Ghost is just awesome. And the Rapunzel handbag of the ones that I've seen is the prettiest one, I think. I just, I love the colors and I love this kind of metallic-y element here. So this is my favorite handbag that I've seen up close so far. If you enjoy Disney pin openings, give this video a quick thumbs up. That way I know I should keep filming them. Also, if you're watching a lot of pin videos on YouTube right now, I have a whole playlist of a whole bunch of Disney pin related videos that I've made, and I will leave that playlist down in the description box as well, so you can do your pin video binge for as long as you want. You can just knock yourself out. As always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you are having a magical day, and I'll be back with more Disney related content real soon. Bye guys!